Should you buy the brand new Hoka Clifton 9 or save some money and get last year's version, the Hoka Clifton 8? Welcome to Ryan's Running Reviews. The Clifton 9 costs $145 and the 8 costs about $110, so you'd save around $35. The 9 is roughly 2% lighter compared to its predecessor, however they made the midsole larger this year, giving us 3 more millimeters of stack height with the same amount of drop. Unfortunately, the midsole is still compression molded EVA foam, although they updated the formulation to be a little bit bouncier and softer. I hope they change this to a PBAX based material in future iterations. The upper on the 9 is a little bit more accommodating with more volume to it, but in classic Hoka fashion, it still has that very noticeable arch sensation. I absolutely recommend both the 9 and the 8, but if I had to pick, I am going with the brand new Hoka Clifton 9 with its minor improvements. But with that being said, there is not much daylight between these two options, and if you can find a great deal on the 8, I say go for it.